YouTube's been rather busy these days, hasn't it? Channels of video game reviewers such as myself are having their videos flagged left and right due to copyright claims. The central idea is that video game footage belongs to the producer, not the YouTuber, so a company has the right to stake a copyright claim on any video containing any gameplay. And this is the stupidest thing ever because of two reasons. One, any number of trolls can call themselves a company, stake a copyright on video game footage, and take it down from the site without having anything to do with making the video game whatsoever. Two, how the heck am I supposed to show viewers what a video game is like without actual in-game footage? Are they supposed to rely solely on the melodious sound of my voice and my skillful hand-drawn representation of the game's art style? Anyway, I'm already neck-deep in bullshit with all the licensed music I use for my videos, so I'm forced to stop showing extended amounts of gameplay like in my review of Minecraft. Possibly for the best. Incidentally, that review ended kind of abruptly. You can blame my rage quit for that, stupid creepers, goddammit. So I didn't give my overall conclusion, which is this. One, the building aspect is great, and I intend to continue playing just for that. Two, the survival and crafting elements are not great and get their ass handed to them by Don't Starve. And I'm not saying this lightly because I know that Don't Starve wouldn't exist without the games that inspired it. But hey, good artists create and great artists steal. Also, although the Minecraft experience was overall a lame one, it was also the most I've ever felt like I'm playing an actual video game in a long time. And that's because indie games have the benefit of having a central idea and implementing it as best as they can. So on the one hand, you have Minecraft being about mining and crafting, and on the other hand, you have GTA V doing yoga minigames in between car chase and heist- Uh oh, I'm showing in-game footage! Bad dork, bad! So in the next series of videos, I'm going to look back at three indie games that nailed their central gameplay idea. What they have in common is one, a retro art style, and two, each game maximizes one aspect of the video game Triforce that is story, challenge, and entertainment. Story is the plot of the video game and the ways it is delivered to the gamer, challenge is how well the game manages to be difficult, and entertainment is how well the actual game part of the game is presented. This is of course highly subjective, as while most people find, say, Fruit Ninja to be an entertaining game, a pretentious douche might say it is not. Please note that a game does not need to have all three to be good, but the games that balance all three are the ones that become legendary. Let the games begin!